For the following exercises, describe how the graph of the function is a transformation of the graph of the original function f. Okay, so we have four examples here, but they all are transformed off of the original function, which was f. So in this case, I'm just going to say that my original function was y equals f of x, only because I see f of x for all of them, right? f of x here, we have f of x over here, over here. So all we're doing is we're transforming off of this graph. Now, the only thing that I see that's different is these added on values over here, right? So we have to figure out what that means. Whenever we are transforming, in this case, uh, we can do vertical shifts, we can do horizontal shifts, and later down the road there's more shifts. But just for now, let's focus on horizontal and vertical shifts. Vertical shifts are when you are shifting a graph up or down. Horizontal shifts are when you are shifting a graph left to right. And you can tell the difference here by looking at the numbers that are added. For vertical shifts, you're always adding a number outside of the function. The function is kept intact, but then you have either a number, you know, plus a number or minus a number. For horizontal shifts, you are literally changing the inside of the function as a whole. You see how this, this is inside, the change is inside. So it would have to be something inside of the parentheses. Now, if I look at my first example here, I notice that I have my function intact, but then outside of the function, I have a plus five. Anytime that you're shifting outside, it's going to be a, a vertical shift. And take note as our tips and tricks down here. If you have a function and then plus a number, that's always shifting up. If you have a function and then it's minus a number, that's shifting down. And that's a vertical shift. These are always outside of the function. Your horizontal shifts from left to right are inside of the function. So let's give this one a shot. This is a plus five. So what do you think is happening? It's this. And anytime that you have a plus outside of the function, you're always shifting up by that number. So what exactly happened here? We just shifted up by five. The number here is five. So we could say like by five units. And I put a graph here just to show you guys, you know, the context of it. Let's just say that I had a, I don't know, a graph like this. Whee! All we're going to do with this graph, if this was the original graph, we're just going to move it upwards five units. So one, two, three, four, five. So your new tippy point would be up here. So maybe something like this. Not drawing to scale, but you kind of get the hint. You see how this shifted upward and you see how it very matches, you know, very, very closely matches. So. That's basically what happened. You shifted upward five units. Okay, let's talk about the next one. Looks like we have a function here and the change is outside. It's a plus eight. So this is outside and outside changes are always vertical and it's a positive. Positive outside is always shifting upward. So you shifted up by eight units. So the number difference should be eight from the bottom to the top. So let's say, I don't know, let's say maybe we go like this, we something like that. That's our original function. Our new function would just have to be eight units higher. So basically all of your numbers would be eight units higher. So let's see, let's just take it from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I can kind of draw that, right? It would be wee, and then it kind of kinks up like that. But that's it. You, go, you went up by eight units. Okay. Next one. I have a function. 
f of x minus 2, I have a function, and then I have a minus 2 on the outside of the function. So this is also a vertical shift, but it's a negative now, and a negative is shifting downward. So all you have to say is, you know, you shifted down by two units, and if we just make things interesting, maybe I'll have the same thing like this. So all you have to do, if this was your old function, your, oh, that was a little bit, that was a little bit ugly. Okay, if this was your old function, all you got to do is shift down two units. So if this is one of my starting points, one, two, that's where the new point would be. And then the same thing here, and, you know, maybe somewhere down here. So my new function would be like this. There you go. All you got to do is just go down two units, and this is your new function. That's it. Last one, we have a function, and outside the function, there's a minus, a minus 7. So that's a vertical shift, and it's a negative, so we shifted down by 7 units. So just as like a visualization, maybe, I don't know, something like this. So now all you got to do is just shift down seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically, it would be off the graph that I drew. But it would still have the same shape. It would just start downward seven units. And that's it. Okay. These are your answers, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if this helped you or not. And yeah, I love talking to you guys, so... Always send me a message. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want to help us out, click the subscribe button. That would help us out tons, and I thank you so much for that. Uh, tell all your friends, anyone who's, you know, doing math, geometry, trig. They're probably going to have to know this stuff anyway, so we, we got everybody. We got everybody. <laughs> all right? So I will see you all in the next question. Take care. Bye-bye.